been a few hours since I arrived um, I just uh, came to my friend Mustafa's house so Mustafa thank you my friend uh, I, I met welcome. I met Mustafa here um, through couch surfing if you guys have never used couch surfing it's it's a way to stay with locals around the world um, and and really get a feel for the culture you know you can always travel and go anywhere but unless you're staying in a friend's house can do you really know you know how people live how the you know traditions are shared inside of a house so Mustafa thank you so much for uh Welcome. for hosting me you know I'm very excited to be in Baghdad I know we were just having conversations about how this country has been through a lot yeah. for the past yeah. I mean like 50 <laughs> plus years you know but we will talk about that later we right now we're going to just show people your house because okay. it's a beautiful house. Okay, welcome. So who do you uh, live? Make, who do you live here with? Home. Yeah, who do you live here with? Um, actually, we are extended family. We are my brother have three kids here, and my mom lives with me in the ground floor. Okay, so it's a, it's the house is separated. Yeah, so separated. That, it's just, uh, that's upper floor is separated from the ground floor. It's a massive, massive house. Okay. It's a bit Iraqi family. Which is not. <laughs> you were, you were saying Iraqi families always yeah. stick together. It's not like the kids get married and they leave and you never see them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They exactly. always they will start as a family, then it extended to a lot of families gather together. So my family, my brother family. So if you got married and had kids, you would stay here too, right? I would choose to stay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that. You know, I think that's something that we miss in the west side of the world. Like, um, you know, my two nationalities, America, Colombia. Oh, you got to get out of the house when you're 18, which is like the opposite of here. Yeah, actually, we care about our parents and our like uh, old age people, like my old age aunt, my old age cousin. So we need to save them, to care about them. No, that I like. I, yeah, I, I, that's I one of I the commend, concept. Yeah. yeah, and and this is something that I see mo mostly with mo Muslims, right? Like Muslims have this sort of even our Christian and Jewish people who live here. Okay, we have that the same. It's not about religion; it's about yeah. the community itself. Awesome. Yeah. So I just want to show people your house real quick on the inside. I think the <clears throat> the way it's set up is is really really cool. So. But look at this. This is beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Um, just massive here. And it's got... I have designed this kitchen. And by the way, Mustafa, tell, tell the world your profession. It's a very, very admirable profession. Yeah, actually, I am architect. And uh, not only architects, I do interior design. I do exterior design, urban design. So that's one of my... Little things that I do. I do another business. <laughs> These yeah. little things have become huge buildings. <laughs> That's awesome. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. yeah. <clears throat> As always, you know, it's always uh, very traditional to take your shoes off, which, you know, in Colombia, it's actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. We don't take our shoes off because people's feet smell and it's mm -hmm. disrespectful if you take yeah. your shoes off. Yeah. But that's really just Colombia. In America, you'll see some families, they have carpet. Because you know in America, they don't like tile. We tire. do have carpet in the winter. But in, when in summer, uh -huh. nah, we say use the floor. Yeah, in America, people either, if you live in an apartment, it's always carpet. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say mostly Latino cultures, because I visited a lot of Mexican homes, for example, when I was working. Uh, I worked in community translation and all that. So I got into people's homes, people's problems, really. And it was Mexican culture loves tiles. So this, Colombians love tiles. But a lot of America loves carpet. And it's like really dirty carpet. You know? I mean, Persian carpet is the best in the world. I haven't seen any Persian. I don't know anything about yeah. Persian carpets. No. But I have like carpet there with the, our son. Yeah, mom let's, let's go over there. So we got the, the kitchen here. And by the way, he just made me some food. Uh, delicious, you know, flatbread, yogurt. And then some mixed vegetables here with a really special sauce, so I really enjoyed it. When I be tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can't 
So we got, look at this. This is one of the biggest monuments here in Iraq, which is the, it's a mosque, right? Mosque, yeah. But it's, it's amazing. Fun. It's yeah. amazing. And we're going to see this in real life. You guys will see me post a video about this uh, very special monument here. Um, mm. And so I love it. I love, this isn't really an entrance though, is it? Like, yeah, it's the entrance for the guests. Because oh, you are this my is friends, so you want okay. to <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. And then, yeah, I love this decoration here. Oh, you know, that's it's oh, very coffee. nice. I mean, in Arabic world, we have that for coffee. Yeah. Because tea is not an Arabic thing. It is a British thing. It's more of a British thing. What you were saying, the that tea. The, the Brit people don't know this, but Iraq was actually like a sort of kingdom, right? There was a monarchy yeah. here that was established by the British. So we always think of more recent history, but just a little bit further back, it explains a lot of things, right? You know, we, we, we're always talking about 20 years ago, 30. Yeah. Think before that, because that's our, grand our parents were alive and it affected them. And then whatever happened then affected us so yeah and then <clears throat> so this is where you have like massive gatherings of your family members right no this is your disc and then <laughs> here's my computer <laughs> wow <laughs> this is awesome um and how many bedrooms does this does this house have Madame. how many rooms you have two rooms there right i have yeah two rooms and four i have five rooms yeah i'm so and all of your family is in Iraq, or is there family? Oh, this barely fits the whole family. This barely fits the whole family. Look how, <laughs> look how great decoration. You just, this is the first time I've seen them turn the lights on. Looks amazing. And you designed that, right? I designed those. I added those because it's old building. And when we took it, I added those cornish. So, yeah, you added the, the yeah, style. Yeah. yeah. No, I those love stone. it. This is very... Yeah. So obviously architecture is influenced by the country that you study it in, right? So you're like, yes. your, your profession is influenced by Iraqi architecture or did you base it off a, a different culture? Actually, we study the history of architecture of some when, when the human started to use wow. the cape yeah. until today architecture. That's amazing. Yeah. So this home, the certain home, is there's nothing special. About okay. the Iraqi building because I'm gonna show you how Go ahead. Iraq used to build. They used to they used to build in this way. In this way. Okay, so it was more like it's, a it's more um local. More um, well, more of like a balcony, right? Like they had we, it's kinda hard to explain but this we call it Shanashi. Shanashi is uh, window uh -huh. but it developed to be a space within that room space so it's just oh the thing is about yeah you're right natural ventilation and it's privacy now women from here can see the outside but men outside can't see the woman that's standing there why because the arabic culture there's privacy privacy oh you mean there. people look out but nobody can really look in Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So, and do you, do you think it's like a sort of balcony, but like covered balcony, exactly. for privacy, but exactly. also also be able to look on the like outside. Exactly, and that's also for ventilation, natural ventilation, because oh, there's ventilation. central, yeah, courtyard in the middle of the house. Okay. So, um, the breeze come from, cold breeze come from central, uh, courtyard and go out through those. Mm, okay. Yeah. And then you, st but th these these houses are no longer built like this, right? No longer. So now this house is something general and somehow modern. And then this painting right here is quite interesting. Actually, before we go to this painting, I just want to get like this is a really really cool p uh, picture painting to me because yeah, it shows the traditional homes up here, and I just love. What do you think they're making there? Is that something that like a little they, soup? They're making soup. Okay. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show you something that you have not yet about. Really like this. And then uh yeah, and then I love this this traditional picture too of a man smoking like huge huge pipe of tobacco here with some tea. I love this is the as traditional as it gets. I love this. Is there a name for the hat that he wears or is that just uh you know, 
the thing on his head? Does it does it have a name? That's uh, that specific game. Eh? Yeah, it's, like this. This um, um, this somehow not combat it that out. This somehow Ottoman. Oh, this is more Ottoman. Okay, yeah. understood. In this shape of this face is Ottoman, but we have something Arabic Iraqi. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, later. awesome. Okay, great. I mean, um, so you, you have a surprise for me, huh? Yeah, I have something here that. I have no idea that I have. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that birds. I'm starting to see birds. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. You How many birds are those? Yeah, That's crazy. Birds. How many birds are those? A lot. Oh, my God. Yeah, Look at this. So, you well, can see. You can see the rest. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see on the side. I can, can, yeah, that's the sun. And then. And like, where do you get them? Look at, like, even this one has such a. Wow. And do you have a name for each one? No. Yeah, a lot. And how did you find them? I mean. I mean, how, how I bring? How do, do they come here? Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I bought them. <laughs> oh, you bought them. Yeah. Is this something a lot of Iraqis do? They have birds. Majority. Majority, yeah. The majority, majority of people, the yeah, Iraqis yeah. have birds. Yeah. So would you say it's more common for Iraqis to have birds than like a dog? Not only, yeah. Really? More common for birds, chicken. <laughs> and chickens. So where are your chickens? Somehow one guy. <laughs> ah, okay. Wow, so yeah, so more more birds than than, than dogs or cats, right? Yeah. More that's crazy. That's like my sister has cats. Okay. Yeah, this has cats. And she treat him very well. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Like she's has a daughter. This is a big space, you know? Like yeah. obviously uh yeah, I was not expecting you to have birds. <laughs> I knew I heard something. I was hearing some noises. And now I know what they are. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, uh, unless... Well, the upstairs is your is your brother-in-law, right? Yeah, the upstairs is locked now. Yeah, it's locked. All right, so yeah, guys, this is the, the majority of the, of the house. As you can see, there's a lot of traditional stuff. Um, my uncle drove this thing. Your uncle drew these paintings. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is amazing. And then is this is this a special leader? Who is this guy? Um, that's the leader that I hate. Who that is? That killed the king. Oh, what's his name? The Karim Fasim. But your family likes him, right? Yeah, communist. Mm. But we got it as a gift, so I didn't drop it. I see. So, but I don't like this man. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is uh, this is cool. Yeah, <clears throat> so I'm still just barely off the plane. Um, so many things, you know, the first 24 hours anywhere are always like absorption of information. You know, even with with Mustafa, like I just, you know, I'm just meeting him and I'm like, I want to ask him 1000 questions and I want to get to know the history of Iraq and I want to know the, the modern day Iraq. I want to know the people, everything. But I have to slow myself down. I have to take some time, just arrive, chill, and then everything will take time. But I'm very excited to be here and uh, can't wait to really get to know this culture. And yeah, all right, catch you guys at the next one.